Good morning, everybody. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank Health 2.0 for giving me the opportunity to talk about UAE response to COVID-19. Uh, COVID and also, I will have a short presentation about Atkan Pharma, my, our own company. So, uh, uh, Atkan Pharma is located in Abu Dhabi. It's a, a, a state-of-the-art facility, and uh, it is designated for oral solid dosage form. Currently, we have another two projects for Atkan Pharma. One will be for oncology, and the second one will be for hormones, which will be in operation, hopefully, by the end of 2023. Uh, I will show you a video about Atkan Pharma. I would like also, it will be our pleasure to invite any one of you to come over and visit Atkan Pharma. We are open to any kind of uh, business cooperation. Now shifting to our main uh, presentation about UAE response. UAE, a home of expats, where world-based response was given to protect public and stabilize economy a success story to share today. Coronavirus disease, as all of you know, is contagious disease caused by severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS. The first known case was identified in Wuhan, China in December 2019. The disease has since spread worldwide, leading to an ongoing pandemic as announced by WHO early in 2020. It has badly affected all countries with more than 450 million cases and 7 million deaths. Main symptoms are, as all of you know, headache, fever, sore throat, cough, muscle pain, loss of taste and smell, and short of breath. UAA response was amazing since the beginning of pandemic and ranked number one for vaccination to public as it was among very few countries where vaccination was started much earlier with support of government. We are talking about 99% of the population.
Corona spread risk is divided into low and medium and high according to less a crowd and high. Social distance is considered safer. So outdoor is less risky than indoor activities. So risk factors were based on how many people, how close is the contact, how long is the exposure, location inside or outside, surfaces to be touched, high number of cases in area, and also the compliance of the SOPs. UAE is ranked number one as per Bloomberg report for resilience ranking to handle this pandemic for people's safety and economic recovery due to multiple initiatives by government and support of public to follow the strict SOPs. Main difference is visionary, dynamic, and compassionate leaders of UAE who always take public safety as first priority. All needed resources were given to build world-class infrastructure to handle this pandemic. Normal PCR to drive through centers across UAE on an immediate basis and very low co controlled, cost controlled as compared with many advanced countries. To follow visionary leadership, UAE government implemented multiple initiatives that includes strict protocols, national disinfection program, vaccines research, food and medicine security, and others. UAE also implemented travel ban from countries with high number of COVID cases to control the spread in UAE through airlines. Ministry of Health approved vaccines on fast track basis as emergency use authorization. Al Hosn app was launched immediately. Border control between Dubai and Abu Dhabi to discourage, to, to discourage unnecessary movement between cities. Extensive COVID testing and still until now 14 days in Abu Dhabi also, support of national heroes like doctors and nurses was among key elements of success story. al Hussein is a great app, even accepted in Europe as per my personal experience in Italy last month. As most of audience have idea it has many features mainly to ensure COVID negative and positive are not mixed. If you are negative it will appear green and in case of positive it will appear red and needs two consecutive negatives to be green again while gray means PCR test validity is expired as I said 14 days in Abu Dhabi these days. All airports in UAE has implemented the green list to different countries with low risk and high risk. Low risk had no quarantine, only PCR testing, while high risk required 10 days quarantine, which is no more required due to all these actions by UAE and relaxed SOPs. UAE was the only country with EDE scanner for shopping mall and other places in additional to green status on al Hassan application. Also, tracker watch was used to ensure positive cases will remain in designated places, otherwise heavy fine were implemented. UAE has excellent communication through dashboards on daily basis for healthcare professional and public for vaccination and number of daily cases which are dropped to 300 after all these great efforts by great team of UAE. Due to vaccination and all measures are rest uh, as restrictions are relaxed, we hope soon corona will be static 
as endemic for normalcy of life. I'm really thankful to all of you, and it was great to talk about UAE great efforts to control COVID effic efficiently as UAE success story. Thank you.